Good evening, welcome to another Friday Closing Bell for 23rd of October. And indeed, we just finished, I think around 6.30, the uh, budget where we saw the number one Prime Minister was going through almost, uh, what, one and a half hour starting at four and didn't finish almost two and a half hours of talking. But having said that, everything is red, which is very, very good. As I'm reading the report that was sent to me, uh, it is a so-called give money to the poor and tax the rich kind of budget a robin hood budget okay i will say it and um, i was kind of surprised you know if i earn one million ringgit then i'll be taxed at 28 percent so take note of that a lot of uh uh, uh so-called macro economics are aiming on winning the sarawak to a new highway it has been talked about and it's going to be toll free called the pen Bonio Sarawa Highway set to be uh, 2021. I wonder why they don't build one in East, in West Malaysia. Well, we all know about that. Anyway, so much for that one. Uh, market's looking good. Uh, five points up, a lot of stimulus coming in there. I think it's going to be a rally uh, coming Monday. Uh, we are doing our uh, workshop tomorrow. I'll be taking a morning flight to Penang. So I'll be speaking to a lot of the Penang night about the economic uh, situation that we see in here so hopefully we will see a great great uh, uh, turn up tomorrow and uh, that will able to push the stock market higher like it or not many people I've talked to are still bearish and I could see yesterday when I was doing my workshop in here and when I really get people to buy it's, you can see there's so much you know unwillingness you know in their faces like no i am still carrying from the old stock that i had since you know uh, july last year i bought this all in gas stock and cannot go higher why am i still listening to martin to buy more new stocks reason is you got to take care of your housekeeping ladies and gentlemen huh? like we did uh we will look at some of the stocks that we picked last week too and uh if you've done that the housekeeping will enable you to pick good stocks and make sure those stocks are uh, going higher for that matter okay now judging from here we uh the klci was below the 1700 yesterday and then turned back up almost 17 point breaking back to 1740 which is in my opinion that's pretty pretty bullish to see uh, markets up about 5.84 point to 1750 now looking back at my notes here uh i had said that look it's likely to retest the 200 day moving average no change on that one i'm still keeping to that uh forecast let me just make a note here uh 200 day moving average which is around 1741 to be the show of the year okay show of the year uh KLCR is ready to lift off and despite last week we have uh, up trust few of them uh market did not go lower as a matter of fact last week we were at 1760 okay so 1760 now it's 1710 so it's not that much still sideway moving you know it's sort of a base building too uh all right so that's important let's look at the chart now we have here right this is what we talk about in here volume is average didn't go lower gaps up high uh reacting also to the dow jones nicely done 300 over points more stimulus i think i'll talk about it today on the uh, whatsapp group here those of you who join us uh, a lot has been said from the mario draghi uh, money printing flowing to the European side that will also benefit across the Atlantic in US too so let's see Dow Jones going up 300 points and the employment numbers has been weak what is good also China is the 6.9 PMI figures on sorry uh, 6.9 GDP figure better than expected so that's why we saw some profit taking uh, we will look at the Shanghai after this to see how it's going on okay uh, looking at here very very interestingly uh, let's look at the weekly chart that we have in here Hey brother, all right, we have a nice one nine Joe trade here. You can see one nine Joe trade breaking up. Uh, we will see it test the 200 day moving coming in. As I said before, if you go back here, this is what we talk about. You can see this and this one here. Can you see that one here? This bar here, okay. It's more like a doji bar, uh, uncertainty bar. Definitely volume is high. Uh, we didn't see it, you know, try to pierce through it. 1740. 17 what 1754 for the 50 day moving average so uh, we are coming that uh, once you get that we're gonna we're gonna get a nice bang moving to the year and a nice rally for the month of november a lot of things has been built up i think this market's gonna go uh higher here don't be overly pessimistic in here market's gonna rally more liquidity more uh what we call kerosene into the fire continue to go higher very nicely done for the uh 
uh, mid cap stock you know we, we saw this going down and finally broke through this was the nice one the little nice doji tail just pierced through it and then going higher of course on the hind side it's easy say. and this is another one the up trust you know that one didn't go lower as a matter of fact it took out the high after uh, like six or seven bars in here that denotes very strength a lot of people are asking me is this a good time to be buying i've been saying end of august those of you who came to my workshop on the 23rd of august together with my fellow uh, uh analysts we we were bullish and those of you who have listened to us and we were given up with the uh, stock pick list i think y'all have benefited it the uh, reason is i can't blame most of you you've been listening to a lot of guru out there a lot of time all gonna burn <laughs> so why should you listen to martin again okay so that has been said i have a good track record i'm proud of that i keep my client in good shape get them uh, working up on their uh, on their returns and so far you know we managed to pull about 100% return within seven years which I continue to do that also doing a bit for my own self uh, I recommend you to use the IVSA chart those of you who uh, are listening that should certainly will improve uh, we have some great testimony in here I'm in the point of collecting them to uh, showcase to you too but at the end what is good of testimonial when result speaks for itself again it all depends on the timing it depends on the timing when you come in if you come in in july whatever you buy is very difficult to go higher okay so that's uh, a small cap stock again testing the uh, 200 day moving just nicely done uh if you do see a uh, uh, a big boost as i said before a lot of stimulus a lot of housing being built the highway is going to be built uh, the question is uh, who is going to be benefiting definitely Chahaya Mata C C M S H. we will take a look at that speaking of that we should take a look at that see whether that that stock has certainly moved up or not uh let me just uh look at that one that'll be interesting C M uh S B. hey it did pop down interestingly enough you didn't see a big bang here all right <laughs> I thought this is going to be a big bang. There wasn't any much of a much of a wash, you know. Uh, not a nice setup. Typically, you want to have some sort of recovery like FGV that we see in here. Okay, okay. Let's uh, we done that one. Let's go to the foreign funds. As you can see, uh, foreign funds are uh, the last. Let's say last what ten bars. Uh, it is still uh, positive seven hundred and thirty million in here. We uh, for the first time this week we have three net sellers days in here we might see a bit of uh, buying next week but judging from today we are up five points we will see turning positive not huge not huge amount uh, but if you go back to 23rd of august uh, somewhere around here this was the highest selling uh, of uh, foreign funds and then we have some came in buying and then we got a little bit of selling here buying here uh, a little bit of selling and we have a huge one on 23rd but subsequently the buys did come in so is that a, a strong correlation it's tough really uh to make of it that's why we have this uh what we call the daily average volume to look at it that give us some sort of bearing uh, having said that huh? okay so let's look at the next thing i have in mind is the the fkli futures okay let's look at futures in here uh straight time just go bang wire here that's fantastic in here okay on the uh klci futures it does look like a uh, tempting on 1720 uh if you see a breakthrough it will be nice right uh many many times the breakthrough can happen in here we've got a low volume in here uh but the market did gap up so that's something very good too a lot of short sellers been taken out on that part on the uh, uh oh okay back here uh we have the uh, KLCI here uh, we were at the KLCI CPO and the market is gapping up and down in here uh, really side range having said that that's going to be a challenge trading this but trend is still looking good for 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 that one okay let's move over to straight time Singapore in here a nice breakout that's what we we, we talk about for KLCI the kind of trade you have a breakout and this is going to be a, a gap runaway we're uh, going to test back 200 day moving average we have a one eye Joe trade here breakdown and then just roll up this was a nice what we call a wash it's very similar to hong kong too uh, a backed up on the creek which is a richard wyckoff move and jump over the creek <laughs> back up from the creek and jump over the creek you know what i mean you back off from the creek like a reverse and then you jump over and it did jump over over here you can see that that was a creek boom typical wyckoff uh jump over the creek and, and that's like 110 years ago and still working today so that's that's fantastic using the wyckoff uh methodology all right 
Okay, next uh, we have is uh, looking at the regional. Uh, I'm going to show you the uh, crude oil chart, which is very important. All right. Let me just get the uh, crude oil chart here. Show you the uh, wicks first, and then we go on to the crude oil. Now, uh, wicks is the measurement of uh, so-called volatility between the put and call options in here. The numbers we are looking for are very, very uh, low numbers. Okay, when numbers hit about ten or eleven, that we will see a uh, market very, very bullish. Now we are at thirteen point two seven. Last week was 16 and definitely is coming down. You can see whenever we made this up cross hitting 53, that's where Dow Jones really hit the low and subsequently did recover nicely. Uh, now it's about 17 uh, Dow Jones. I'll show you next. So it does look like Dow Jones will have another night, night good close in here. Okay, moving on to the crude oil. Okay, crude oil. Uh, I should see it here. Okay, there you go. Like crude oil. Because light crude oil is going to drive a lot what's going to be happening to Malaysia. It's holding up a nice space here, up half a percent. Did take out the, the low of this spring, meaning uh, it's going to be holding a base at best. Oh, you might see it break to $44. Right, worst case comes. Uh, but if it does have a nice push up in here, a lot of stimulus coming in there. And this is also uh, taking into a slower go from China. So crude oil is coming down. A lot of supplies are coming in now. Uh, having said that, so. That's what we are looking for. Uh, let's look at the regional market, which is one of my favorite. I've been looking at Dow Jones for the last five, six years. Uh, and that simply tells you where it is. That's what I mean. The nice 18 day line change in here. Uh, follow through. Let me see. Oh, that's, that's, oh, sorry. It's already up. It's nine o'clock. Yep, nine, nine, nine o'clock is up. We have a nice follow through. Ladies and gentlemen, we broke through the 200 day moving average for the US Dow Jones. So that's good, isn't it? 200 day moving average, broke through it, nicely done. Uh, we will see on Monday for our small cap and mid cap stock breaking the 200 day moving average. Few more markets coming in here. That was all. Things looking good. Bullish, bullish, bullish. Please think bullish, okay? Hang Seng haven't reached that yet. Singapore is 37.53. Now is only uh, closing at 34. Another 300 point. Uh, is it 300 points? Yep, another 10% to move up. It will be very fast. Australia line change here. Nice one sticking it out. That's typical. You must learn how to trade. Hang Seng, uh, lack of conviction, although it's up. We want to see a strong bar moving from the side. Uh, Nikkei is the same too. So that points to. Uh, let's take a cue from actually Shanghai. Last week, when we have this line change in here, came back down. And uh, let's see. Because the whole world is going through. Uh, money printing and that's going to be able to push up the market some more all right so looking good looking good fkli we've done the wicks we done oh you now let's look at the uh gold and ringgit now ringgit has definitely broke back down nice one uh we were four four thirty four ten in here uh i think this will subsequently uh, go a bit lower and this is the australian ringgit i should put one for uh for sing dollar in, in in the next round when i do this again Right. So go, go, go. 200 day moving average. Wow, this is 1160. Trying to break back up. In, no, it's not. That's an old resistance that we have. Uh, hit it to uh, 1180. Came back off. Uh, still trying to base build in here 1160. So no, uh, more money printing. That will certainly serve very well for gold. Okay. Serve very well for gold. Uh, you got silver here. Right. Uh, still around $15. So we've done the US dollar regional. Let's look at the stock that we have last week. Okay. Last week was 16 October. We first picked uh, so a uh, summary. I after the budget that we're seeing a lot of uh, stimulus in there. Now if you look at uh from a very pessimistic viewpoint, you may agree. Look, where money government where got money? Right? But like it or not, economy will grow. If you continue to have the kind of attitude where you got money and don't invest in the stock market, the stock market is going to go higher. That's what it always work in contrarian to the market. Okay, feel the market. Look at what the market's telling you. Look at the price. Look at the volume. And IVAC chart will help you. Uh, looking likely to test next week, 1740 to 200 in moving average. So you hear it first from Martin Wong for closing bell 23rd of October. Thank you for listening.